Uh, very excited today to be here to uh, talk about our voter ID bill. I'm very pleased that Senator Warren Limmer and many other legislators are here with us today uh, to support this bill. But most importantly, this is a bill that is supported by 80% of Minnesotans. Uh, there's a growing concern uh, that we hear from citizens who are growingly suspicious of our election process. The integrity of our entire election process hinges on two critical issues. A photo identification, when presented at the time of voting, would satisfy and verify that the individual <laughs> casting the vote is the person that they, in fact, are claiming to be. In the bill that I have, and I have discussed this with the leadership here, and that is that on the initial purchase of this equipment, counties don't have that money, and as has been the precedent before, we would purchase this equipment for, the, um, for all levels of government to use in the elections. Uh, this proposal is a risk that we can't afford. And maybe the biggest risk is that the bill ends up being in and of itself a form of voter fraud because it misleads the voters. In particular, it mis misleads the voters about the very real prospect that tens of thousands of law-abiding Minnesotans will be fenced out of the process. People who have lived there their whole lives and who are law-abiding citizens. Uh, since the start of this legislative session, Republicans have rolled out one myth per week as a justification for legislation. They started with the idea that corporate tax cuts will create jobs, that nuclear power is safe and affordable, that state workers are putting the state of Minnesota at risk of bankruptcy, and that and now that illegal voters are stealing Minnesota's elections. Yes. I've been on the I heard you too. Just yelling out there.